I don't know if you know this, sis, but one of the best things that will get you through this season is a strong prayer life. Yes, you need to be talking to God on the regular during this time. And I know some of you are like, you know, sis, I have not had the best prayer life in the past. Well, no need to worry, sis. We can change all of that today. I'm going to share with you some tips to make you a prayer warrior. So join me right after this. Hey, sis. Welcome to Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Healing. Are you hurt and confused after a recent breakup? Are you having thoughts like, I can't believe I'm here again. Why wasn't I enough for him? Or I'm never going to get married. Do you find yourself Googling how to get past the breakup or how to heal my broken heart? Do you start your morning feeling like you can finally breathe again only to fall apart when you see a picture of your ex on social media? Hey sis, I'm Candace. I too was a single Christian woman who was heartbroken but still desired marriage. I too had numerous failed relationships and wished the right man would come along. I wanted closure from past relationships, healing for my heart, and I wanted to feel joy in my life again. But the truth is, I had no idea where to start or how to make any of this happen until I found the secret, partnering with God to heal from heartbreak. In this podcast, you will find tips for moving on after breakups, growing your relationship with God, and preparing for future relationships so that you will heal your heart and be ready to move forward into the life you desire. So turn off those heartbreak songs and turn me up in those earbuds. It's time to heal, sis. Hey, sis, and welcome back for another episode of Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Healing. I'm so excited that you're joining me on today. I love today's topic. I cannot wait to get into it. Also, sis, we are talking about prayer on today, and I want to make sure that you have grabbed my free prayer available to you to help you to move on after a breakup. All right. This prayer is so powerful and it has helped and blessed so many people. I am still getting comments on the prayer. I get feedback so often because people find it just so helpful to them and they love it. And so if you have not yet heard this prayer, go ahead, click the link in the show notes. It is absolutely 100% free. Just leave your name and email address and I will send it straight to you. And sis, I cannot go any further without personally thanking you for helping me to reach a huge milestone on the podcast. Okay. We have surpassed 50,000 downloads on the podcast. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. I'm super, super excited about it because that means that so many women are listening and being helped, being poured into and actually making progress on their healing journeys. And so guys, I do not take this lightly that you have chosen this podcast to help you and to pour into you during this very difficult season of your life. And so I really want to celebrate the 50,000 downloads with a giveaway, okay? I want to do the 50K giveaway for what I have put together as a heart healing bundle, all right? And so I want to tell you really quick what the rules are to enter for your chance to win this heart healing bundle. And, you know, I hope that you will take me up on it because it is going to be an amazing thing. All right. So the bundle first includes three things. One, it includes 50% off the course. So sis, listen, I don't do the 50% off often. Okay. 50% off the course. Two, it includes a free digital copy of my book, Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Purpose. And three, once you purchase the course, you will get a free 30 minute breakthrough session that I offer to my students. You will get that absolutely free with the purchase of the course. Okay. So you get the 50% off the course, the digital copy of the book and the free 30 minute breakthrough session. It is a bundle that will help you tremendously on your heart healing journey. So how do you enter for your chance to win? Three simple rules. All right. Step one, leave a five-star written review on Apple Podcasts. Step two, Take a screenshot of your written review. And step three, either post the screenshot in our Facebook group 
or email it to me at contact at CandiceABetties.com. All right, so I'm gonna put all of this stuff in the show notes for you. Do not worry. And if you are in the Facebook group, you will definitely see it posted there as well. But go ahead, enter for your chance to win this 50K giveaway, okay? The Heart Healing Bundle. Um, Again, it is something that I believe will really, really help you on your heart healing journey. And again, I just really want to celebrate this awesome, awesome monumental moment because again, I could not do this without you and you are essential to my success. And I am here to really just serve you guys on this podcast. So I love you so much. Again, thank you so, so much for tuning in week after week and hanging out with me as we work together for your healing heart, okay? Love you, sis. Love you, love you so much. So like I said, we are talking about prayer on today, all right? And I got some tips because let me tell you something. Developing your prayer life during this season is actually a gift, okay? Nothing will bring you into prayer like being hurt and being in pain. And from experience, I know just how hard it is to make it through a season of heartbreak. And I, I can tell you, doing it without praying is nearly impossible. You will not find peace. You will not find joy. You will not find the strength that you need to make it through this season without praying to God. And so I just wanted to share this with you because I discovered this. It helped me so much to pray to God and not just pray to him for this season, right? Because it was important that I got through it, but it also helped me to really build my prayer life that I have today. So I have a very strong prayer life, I believe, and I owe it to that season of my life. I used that season of heartbreak to really build strengthen my relationship with God and my prayer life. And so I call myself a prayer warrior, right? Because I know how to go in on the devil. I know how to tap into the spirit realm through my prayers. And so I want to help you to do the same thing, no matter where you are. If you feel like, sis, I don't even pray. (laughs) If I, if you are only saying our father prayer, if you are simply saying, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. It doesn't matter, okay? Wherever you are starting right now, we are going to build on that with four simple tips, all right? So let's get into it. Tip number one, make prayer a daily activity, all right? So prayer is something, you know, at first, you may be like, okay, you know, I don't do it every day and I'm not consistent. So the first thing is to build your consistency, sis. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get with doing it, right? But you do have to be intentional about it. So you have to find a way to weave the prayers into your life every single day. If you are like, I don't pray every day, then that's where you start. It doesn't have to, it doesn't mean you have to have an hour or 30 minutes even to pray every day. All I'm asking is that you do pray every day. If you are taking five, 10 minutes of your day, of your morning, or before you go to bed at night, the earlier the better, because you wanna, you don't want life or, you know, all your circumstances, all your activities to get in the way. So if you pray early, then you know that you have gotten it done. So in the beginning, you might be like, well, you know, we don't wanna, I don't, I feel like I should feel like I have to pray. Sis, listen, you have to make yourself pray sometimes. So make it a part of your daily routine, part of your daily schedule. And the more that you do that, the more you're connecting with God, the more you will develop this hunger and thirst to be in relationship with him and talk to him. So go ahead and make prayer a daily activity. All right. Number two, remove distractions during prayer, okay? So one thing that weakens our prayers when we pray is we are distracted. Y'all, these phones, these tablets, these devices that we have, these smartwatches, and we're like, oh no, I just needed to, sis. If those things are distracting you during your prayer time, 
remove them from your setting, right? If wherever you go to pray, go ahead and put those things somewhere else, put them on do not disturb, do something so that they will not distract you during your prayer time because it's hard to keep your mind on God, to keep your mind in that in that space of prayer and really tapping into that spirit realm and being strong in your prayer when you are hearing little dings and hearing something, you know, um, going off on your phone or on your watch or whatever. And you're like, oh, let me check that real quick. Oh, I just want to, you know, we have to be able to deny ourselves that pleasure, you know, turn the television off, turn the radio off. You know, um, if you have kids, maybe before they wake up in the morning or after they go to bed at night, I know like right now my kids are sleeping. Okay. So I'm doing this episode. I'm gonna get some prayer time in before I go to bed and it's going to be all good. So make sure that you are able to remove the distractions. Tip number three, start with praise. So for me, I, in in the beginning, especially like it was so much easier when I started off with like singing a song of praise or just thanking God for everything that he's done. And then I was so much like, so ready to go into prayer mode after that. So you might notice, I don't know if all churches or all denominations do this, but you usually would have like songs of praise and worship before prayer or before the pastor or priest or whoever it is preaches, right? Or brings forth the word. You would normally have times of praise and prayer because it just kind of praise and worship. I'm sorry, because it just kind of opens you up and puts you in kind of like puts you in the mood for praying for receiving. Right. And so it puts you like it, it helps to get any thoughts that are in your head that has nothing to do with praying that the worries and the cares and the to do's and all of that stuff. It helps to like minimize that when you're able to praise God and worship him. So make that if you're having trouble, like really getting into praying, do that first and try and see if that helps. It helped me a lot. Okay. It helped me a lot, especially in the beginning. And then tip number four is to use scripture. All right. So nothing's going to make your prayer more powerful than using God's word in your prayer. And I talk about this in my course, Grieving the Living, because we talk about prayer in there, right? I want you to know that, you know, my course is about grieving, but it is grieving with God. So we talk lots of spiritual concepts and things in there. And so we talk about prayer. I have a specific method called the PPS method. And essentially you want to make your prayer powerful, personal, and specific. And so the powerful part is using scripture. How do you bring scripture into your prayer? And so, um, like an example of this very simple, and you probably heard me use it before is, you know, you're my, you might be thinking or feeling like, you know, God, this, this season of my life is too hard. I can't make it through this, but you combat that thought by saying, you know, God, your word says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Therefore, I know I can make it out of this. It doesn't matter how hard it seems right now. I know I can do this. All right. Like that's just one small example, but find your favorite scriptures that speak to your situation in this season and use those scriptures during your prayer time as you are talking to God. Give his word back to him because guess what? His word is the truth, okay? He has promises in his word. And so if you want to see his promises come alive in your life, then talk to him about those things as you pray. And he can develop you to receive those promises. He can set the circumstances right for you to receive those promises. So go ahead and use that scripture. And that is the thing for sure that is going to boost your strength in your prayer life. It's definitely going to make it stronger. Okay. And as we are talking about, you know, using the scripture, and I told you about the PPS method, sis, don't forget my course, Grieving the Living. You can access that at any time. I have a link for you in the show notes. If you are struggling to let go of your ex, 
if you are struggling to move on after that breakup, okay? If you wanna learn how to, you know, really become stronger in your prayer life, if you really wanna go through that training during the course, if you really wanna know, you know, how do I make it over this hump of, you know, feeling stuck in this relationship or stuck in this situation where, you know, this person doesn't even wanna be with me, but I can't seem to move on. If you need help letting it all go, moving forward, sis, go ahead, take my course, all right? I have a link for you to get the course in the show notes. There are payment plans available for you, so don't miss out, all right? Again, the four tips to making your prayer life stronger to really becoming a prayer warrior is one, make prayer a daily activity, two, remove distractions, three, start with praise, and four, use scripture, okay? So I really hope that, you know, you start implementing these things in your life. And actually, I want you to come over to the Facebook group and tell me which one of these you're going to start using today. All right, so it's today. What are you choosing today that you're going to do? Because it's all up to you. You can listen to all of these episodes on the podcast says, but if you're not implementing the things that we talk about, you're not going to see the progress. I want you to see the progress. Okay. So pick one thing that you can implement today from these tips. That's going to help you to become a stronger prayer warrior. All right, sis. So as much as I hope you have enjoyed this episode, I just want to remind you Don't forget about the 50K giveaway, all right? Check the show notes for all the rules. Check the show notes for what the Heart Healing Bundle includes. Go and leave your five-star written review and don't forget to send it to me, all right? Thank you again, sis, so much for hanging out with me for 50,000 downloads. You are awesome. I love you so much and I will talk to you again next week, girl. Bye. Hey sis, listen, if you've been blessed, changed, or inspired by this podcast in any way, please subscribe to the podcast and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. This is the number one way that you can thank me and show support for the show. Also, if this podcast blessed you, don't keep it to yourself. Do a quick share and bless someone else. Please know I am so grateful for each and every one of you, and I would love to hear from you. Come connect with me and other like-minded individuals in my Facebook group called Christian Women Overcoming Heartbreak and Finding Purpose. I can't wait to meet you back here really soon. Until then, remember to love the life you have while you're making it better. Love you, sis.